Starting today, millions of Americans struggling with mild to moderate hearing loss have a new and less expensive option. Hearing aids are now allowed to be sold without a prescription, both online and over the counter at stores. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on what you need to know, as well as what doctors are advising patients with hearing problems. Well, that's right. The price varies, but some chains like CVS and Walmart are offering over-the-counter hearing aids for a couple hundred dollars compared to thousands for prescription aids. I think it's great that people are going to have a chance. San Diego and Maureen Arrigo has been using hearing aids since her mid-30s. She sees the availability of hearing aids without a prescription as a boon for millions of Americans dealing with mild to moderate hearing loss. It's a fair percentage of people who would be willing to try hearing aids. Uh, can't afford them. And that that's just tragic. Over the counter hearing aids could cost anywhere between $200 and 3000 with some drugstore chains offering them for around 800 compared to paying 5000 or more for a prescription hearing aid. This comes after President Biden issued an executive order earlier this year calling on the FDA to make hearing aids available without a prescription to lower their cost and to expand access. I'm all in favor of going to medical practitioner for things that you need a medical practitioner for, but this just seems seemed uh, unnecessary for a lot of people. That said, many medical professionals say that over-the-counter hearing aids are appropriate for some patients. People who are starting to notice that they're having a little bit of difficulty. It's not for someone who has a more significant hearing loss, who has trouble in multiple situations, who has hearing loss only in one ear or a sudden loss or ringing only in one ear. Those are all reasons that you absolutely need to see an audiologist. A lot of people are, they go four or five years uh, after they recognize the hearing loss before they do anything about it. Shar Siebertson is president of the San Diego chapter of Hearing Loss Association of America, or HLAA. HLAA feels that this will encourage more people to try out hearing aids and not just suffer with the hearing loss. Siebertson also points out that a stigma surrounding hearing loss still exists, despite the fact that it's one of the most common disabilities in the U.S., often afflicting veterans returning from combat. And I think now that it becomes over-the-counter, it's going to be much more acceptable. And customers are advised to check the return policy if they do buy over-the-counter hearing aids. While the FDA does not require that they're returnable, they do require that the return policy be clearly printed on the package.